Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be continuing our Frozen World series. As we know, the world froze over from an experiment in Ecuador. Unifications happened. Econ weak places collapsed. Started to collapse, not all yet. But now, for this part, a global recession hits. As China and the US begin to default on payments because they're making a lot less money. Which... Almost every country has started to default on their debts badly. Some countries got very bad. We're talking collapse bad. Eventually, Malawi couldn't continue this, nor could Syria or Yemen or the Central African Republic or Niger. None of these nations could stand this economic problem, which led to a big crisis. Nations started collapsing. Myanmar collapsed. And Germany continues what it's been at for the last few episodes, expansionism. And their expansionism is pretty bad. At no way stopping them for some reason. They're just going into Poland. Nobody's even going to war with them at this point because their economies are too bad. Germany is basically trying to strengthen itself at this point. Which not many nations are really caring about. And the problem with this is that it leads Poland in a bad spot. This is after NATO has collapsed, because NATO did collapse. And from the east, the Russians come in. Basically, they're being partitioned like always. Germany hasn't brought their puppet in because I don't see it as necessary. And with the Germans and Russians meeting up, and the Russians... Advancing fire, eventually Warsaw falls. With this fall comes the partition of Poland. The Russians get these lands. Well, the Germans take these lands and a Polish puppet's established. Which will eventually be annexed into Germany. With Germany deciding it's a good time to make an alliance with them and their puppets. They know the Russians aren't their allies because you know what happened last time they aligned? I don't think the Russians would fall for that twice, an expansionist Germany alliance. There's many nations demanding multiple things. With the formation of the new pact beginning. And this new pact includes Germany and its puppets. So not much is in this pact. So that's basically what it looks like. No one has joined it yet. It's an expansionist pact. The Turkey trying to decide what to do with this piece of land when Lebanon decides to collapse. It's so basically a partitionist plan. The governments in this region meet with Turkey's government. Turkey comes up with a partition. He basically gives Israel this because that's how much I think they would give them. Turkey takes all the coast. They decide to continue this straight line up and then they curve it. Make the borders not look straight because nobody likes straight line borders. But because they're partially European, they kind of had to put some straight line in. But not a lot, as they're not fully European. They're barely European. On a map, they're technically pretty close to Europe. Europe. They're like the middle. Iraq likes the annexation of lands, but there's an economic recession at this point in this series. And countries like China, the U.S. are being hit especially hard in India. Germany is not being hit hard, but they're also expansionist. Italy became expansionist too, because... They need to distract their people from their freezing to death. With an alliance between Bulgaria and Italy declaring war on Hungary with a quick inter- with Hungary joining their side. With some nations like Greece and Romania joining opposite teams. With Greece having lost all of its Aegean islands to Bulgaria and them. Bulgaria lost a bit of land because they gave away some. With Italy's advance starting up here. And over here. With Hungary starting advances along their full front. With Italy slowly becoming more and more. With Bulgaria moving into Greek and Yugoslav territory. A bit of an advance into Romania started. Just to secure the area. With Italy's advance into Greece starting. With an advance down the coast on both from the north and south. Eventually they take the coast. And they split the nation in two. Other goal is, is to create a Yugoslav puppet, annex quite a bit of land, along with Bulgaria. And Romania's 
struggling in this war, honestly. I don't think Romania can win, guys. Well, they won't, but anyways, at this point. One of their allies has collapsed. They do manage to take back their ice. Yep, ice, you heard that right. With Bulgarian troops sliding over the ice in the Greek territory. With Finland and Russia liking this situation. And Canada's chilling. Now let's see what happens in the by Germany for the European Expansion Pact. Italy gets an idea of joining it. But let's go over the treaty. So Italy puppets Yugoslavia. Romania and Greece lose land but don't get puppeted. Bulgaria gets coast on the GNC. Hungary gets a bit bigger. Italy soon has a vote and their people decide it's best for them to join this German alliance. Which is... It's a pretty strong alliance, I guess. The Nordic Union is a good deterrent to Russia's expansion, but the Baltics aren't really. There's no way really going to support them. It's a race focused on themselves. Russia's expansion is working, and it's offsetting its fall in the economy as it's giving jobs to people, I guess you could say. So it offsets it. Russia's economy is... You're going to benefit off war if everybody else's economy is falling. With Russia having a lot of success in Europe and Asia, it's because the world is frozen. Nobody can intervene, really. Germany has went far left. Italy's went far left, expansionist left. And let's look around. Well, a few nations are still collapsed. Well, Yemen stops being collapsed as the Sauds re-enter and annex it. Annex the territory. And with nations not sure what to do with the remainders. With Europe starting to see problems from this. And at this point, Paraguay is just has nothing to do. So they end up getting invaded. They end up getting invaded. And a lot of Problems are going to occur for the Bolivian army. The Peru-Bolivian Union quickly takes most of Paraguay out, then takes the rest out. With Brazil mandating they leave. With them saying, no, we'll just annex the territory and we won't expand any further. With Brazil like, yeah, we will invade if you don't obey what we just said. Basically, they got appeased. But anyways... With Britain and France, well, Britain annexed Ireland, with them signing a pact, which basically this pact is anti-German expansionism. It'll include France, Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. Also, this alliance is also working to find out what caused this problem. But let's see. Some nations have been warring others, as you can tell, but Asia has been pretty quiet. Now, I'd say that's pretty much all for today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Five likes, and we'll do another pair to this. Thank you guys for watching this. Bye, guys. Wild Mapper out. Bye.